Hello guys, it's Dale here with a new video, new trading analysis. Today I'm going to talk about three trading ideas. The first one is going to be on Bitcoin. So what you see before you is the Bitcoin chart, 30 minute time frame. I'm using a trading view platform with my custom made indicators. And what I want to talk about in here is this support which formed just recently. The support is at 21,000. 500 and it is based on the volume profile setup which I like to use when there's a trend trend like this one Bitcoin was pretty volatile and created this uptrend and within this trend this significant volume cluster formed this volume cluster is telling us that strong buying activity took place in this zone so I think that buyers who are pushing the price upwards were adding massively to their long positions in here and then they continued pushing the price even higher. So this is a super important zone for those buyers because they placed a lot of their longs there. So when there is a pullback to it, then it's very likely that those buyers will become aggressive and they'll want to push the price upwards again. So. That's why I think that there'll be a reaction and this should work as a support. All right, so what we need to do now is just wait for the price to come to this support at some point in the future. It doesn't need to be today or tomorrow, but when the price comes to this support, it is likely that there'll be a reaction, all right? So that's the newly formed support on Bitcoin. The next trading idea I want to show you is on the Canadian dollar Swiss franc. So this is the Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Again, we are looking at 30 minute time frame, And in here, there was also a very strong trend. This one, a strong downtrend. And in this case, I want to talk about significant volume zone that starts in here. This is the level at 0.6795 and the significant volume zone is this one most importantly this one because this is the place from which this very aggressive sell-off started so what the volume profile is telling us is that in this place sellers were active they were building their short positions and afterwards they pushed the price aggressively downwards so when the price makes it back to this level, to the beginning of that heavy volume zone, then it is likely that sellers from here will become active and they'll want to defend this zone, which is very important for them because they placed a lot of their shorts there and they'll want to push the price downwards from there. All right. So that's why this should work as a strong resistance. And when the price makes it to this level, there should be a reaction. Again, the price doesn't need to come to this level today or tomorrow or not even next week. I'm only saying that when the price reaches this level, it is likely that there'll be a reaction. Now, there's also one more thing which I want to comment on. It is this significant volume zone. Possibly this could also work as a resistance, but this one could be a bit more risky because this is what I call weak high. A lot of people place their stop loss orders at those places, uh, the highs of those candles. Also in here, this is also weak high. So many people place their stop loss orders here, places like these. And if the price comes close, to those stop loss clusters then what the big guys will want to do is they'll want to take that liquidity because the big guys are always after big liquidity right that's their game so they'll want to push the price through and take that liquidity to use it to enter or quit their trading positions all right so if the price shoots past those stop loss clusters then that would basically mean that the resistance from here would fail. So that's why I'm saying that this would be a risky trade. 
I'm not saying that it won't work because still we have heavy volume zone here and heavy volume zones tend to work as a strong support or resistance zones. But in this case, there is also that risky factor I was talking about, all right, those stop loss clusters. So that's about that. That's about the Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Uh, the next pair I want to cover is the Euro Canadian dollar. So this is the Euro Canadian dollar, 30 minute time frame. And in here, I want to talk about support, which is at 1.4564. The support is in here and if you're looking at the volume profile shape of uh, this uptrend of this zone then you can already see that massive volumes were traded here right before this very aggressive buying activity so this is telling us that strong institutional buyers were building up their long positions here and then they pushed the price aggressively upwards they manipulated the price to shoot upwards and this is very important zone for those strong institutional buyers because they placed a lot of their longs there so that's why they should defend it so when there's a pullback at some point in the future buyers should defend it and push the price upwards right this is a setup which i call the volume accumulation setup it is one of my favorite volume profile setups there is also one more thing about this level that I really like. The thing is that the price was reacting to this zone in the past as well. If I extend this line like this, then you can see that the price was reacting to this zone in the past, which means that this zone worked as a resistance. Now, when the price blew past that resistance, the resistance turned into a support. This is a price action setup which I like to trade, and I like to trade it especially when the setup points me to a place where heavy volumes were traded, like in here. So in this case, we have a combo of two trading setups. One is the volume profile setup, the other one, price action setup. Both setups are pointing me to this level, so that's why I think that there should be a reaction. That's why I think that this should work as a strong support. All right, so that's about the Euro Canadian dollar. If you guys are interested in learning more about volume profile trading, if you would like to trade alongside me every day, and if you would like to bring your trading to a whole new level, then what I recommend is visiting my website, which is trader-dale.com. If you click this button, it will take you to my courses. There are two courses, or I should say two packs. And the first one is called the Elite Pack. It includes a volume profile video course, my personal trading levels, which you'll be getting every day, and my custom-made volume profile indicators, which I develop for various trading platforms, including NinjaTrader, TradingView, or MetaTrader. The other pack, is called the Oriflow pack and this one focuses on day trading with Oriflow. It includes Oriflow software, Oriflow video course and also my custom-made volume profile indicators which very nicely complement Oriflow trading. All right so as I was saying if you want to improve your trading dramatically then getting one of these packs is the next best step you can take. All right, so that's about that. That's about the education and indicators. And now before I wrap this video up, what I wanna do is I want to announce a winner of a contest we had last time. The price of the contest was pack of trading view indicators that I just released and that I worked with uh, today in today's video. So right now on your screen, you see the name of the person who won in the contest. So congratulations to the winner. And what I'll do is I'll do another contest for the next week. The price of the contest will be again a pack of my trading view indicators. And if you want to participate in the contest, what you need to do is leave a comment below this video that I'll upload on YouTube. And next week, I'll randomly pick one person to win this set of custom made indicators. All right, so that's about that. That's about the video. Thanks for watching. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video 
or if you decide to join one of my courses, then I'll see you in the members area. So see you later and until then, happy trading.